like there's a player with a similar tag to yeah. Raven King that okay. was. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, I'm asking no. for matchup because I think almost literally when I think about the snake matchup, I don't, I don't, I don't think about the uh, fact that you are a like. If you're good at the matchup, I think about the fact: Did you play brawl or not? Because like that's really where a lot of our matchup uh, practice came. Snake is, you know, a little worse in this game, so we have an easier time dealing with him. Yeah. But most of your matchup practice would have came from there. So a lot of times when I, pe I see people complaining like, "Oh, Snake's so hard to play against." I'm like, "You didn't play brawl." Actually, Raven King did play PM though. Okay. So I think he should know at least a decent amount about the character. Snake was very good in that game. Yeah. Yeah. All right. Let's see how this uh, this definitely works out, man. Um, he's doing. I mean, obviously a good job right now. I didn't. I wasn't saying that he wouldn't be able to do the matchup. I'm just saying sometimes I see people get hit by some like day one Snake stuff. Yeah. And I'm like, oh. Okay, <laughs> you, this is your first time against Snake, I got you. Right, Snake can upset an inexperienced player pretty much of any caliber, but Dark, so far he's been holding up pretty well. Obviously a little bit down here, but still, just being able to tangle with a, character, a player like Raven King, who's, what, top five in Chicago? Oh, yeah. Very impressive. Okay, I like that. Oh, I like what, uh, what Raven King's doing here, too. I mean, again, you know, now that you saw that, though, I mean, Dark is getting off the, uh, the ledge as quick as possible. You gotta think about that. Like, what are you gonna do next time he decides to get off the ledge? You gonna go for the Trump, or are you gonna go for a fake Trump? Potentially go for a down air as he gets up. Right. Also, just want to correct myself before anyone gets mad. I believe Raven King is ranked pretty low this season because of the switch to Joker, but he has formerly been within Chicago's top okay. five. That I'm almost sure of. Okay. Man. okay. Wow. Okay. Even it up. All right, Dark. Yeah, Snake has a really hard time chasing leads sometimes, but a great time extending them. So it's really important that Dark was able to take that sock off so quickly. If there was any extra credit to speak of, could have gotten ugly. Also, speaking of Dark, man, I'm just going to say this uh, in the middle of this matchup. Big shout out to Dazzle and Dark, man. I miss those guys. I facts, miss those guys, bro. That's my boys, bro. I miss those guys, man. But back to the match. We uh, definitely have a pretty good match developing between us. 65 to 41%. Nothing crazy. Wow, look at that platform. So dangerous. A C4 and a grenade and a snake on it now. Oh, wow. And he avoided the up smash after all that. Hitting a down air into back air right in the uh, line of fire. Wow. Dark actually tied to that just barely. Okay. Raven King, nice. Okay, getting the grab. No drag down. Okay, thought we were going to get a little drag down action right there, but instead, let's go ahead and get the, the guaranteed damage. Yeah, down gun so annoying for pretty much everybody in the cast to deal with. Yeah. Basically, zero landing lag. You can even stick a button out right before you hit the floor if you start it high enough. Surviving the up tilt Joker heavier than Lucina, and for what? It's a little hey, last hit, man. Come on. That's fair. Oh, holding the grenade, holding the Rebel's Guard. I like that. Four damage for basically a third or more of your Arsene meter. Totally worth it. And here we're going to get an early appearance from Pops. That's the Arsene management. I love to see it. Okay. There we go. I was going to say, he's not getting hit, though, so it's taking a while to creep up on its own. And... Oh, oh. he hit the Cypher, yeah. or he made him air dodge. Yeah, well, he did. He definitely air dodged down there. Okay. But he, I think he did hit the cipher too. So not only like it, it was a, a two for one. I think he might have actually hit Snake though without that air dodge. So. Yeah, let, let's see yes. that again. Here real we quick. go. Okay, he's in the cipher. Hits the cipher. Did he hit Snake? And hit no, only hit Snake. Why did Snake he destroy the cipher but didn't knock him off it? Yeah, why did Snake knock it knock? That Is does. Not, there's there's literally no way that doesn't do enough damage to not snake off that yeah. cipher. My only thought is that Joker and Arsene's hits are each countered separately and they don't individually do enough damage. Maybe the back air was so stale that it, like, because solo Joker back air does hit Snake off the Cypher normally. Uh, it okay. might have been stale enough that it didn't knock him off and then the extra damage from Arsene doesn't mean anything. But uh, All right. we're going to need someone nerdier than us to figure well, that out. This is out. true. I mean, I'm, I'm, I'm going from the chat. This is true. He said he armored the back air because Bear has two 10% hitboxes. Okay, boxes, that's what I thought, yeah. Which makes sense. Okay. Yeah. But you learn I, something every day. I am almost quite sure that fresh Joker back air is enough to take Snake off the Cypher, so it must have been the staleness as well coming into play. Man, so he, didn't, he actually didn't have to air dodge at all. Right. He was okay. scared, man, either trying to attack or trying to air dodge to the ledge. Hey, man, but I would have been scared too, bro. It, it's an it's R sitting back air. Like, you know, I'm, I'm going to be scared that. too. Okay, well, Dark off on the right foot here in this game too. Up about 50%. And counting, yeah, now 60 and then Nikita, wow, not even off stage. Just aiming it up to catch that double jump. A lot of people, you know, they don't want to be in a tech situation, so they'll spend that double jump just to reposition. And Raven King paying the price with his life. Okay, ooh. Yeah, last hit of Dare and Grenade at the same time. Hey, Raven King, I mean, he's definitely taking a little damage here, but he should be able to give himself a stock relatively soon. Okay, holding that though. Nice. 
I like, you know what, smart wait right there from Raven King, because I'm, you know, I'm pretty sure Dark probably thought he forgot that was on that platform. Okay. Nice. Oh, yeah. Wait That's a out. wait, yeah. Yeah, you knew it was checkmate. Just had to wait for the last option to come out, that being the directional air dodge there. Oh, God, a lot of damage coming out into a forward air, into a dash attack, keeps it going. Nice, 53 right off the bat for Raven King and a lead trap to boot. Not gonna capitalize, though. Let's see what Raven King does to respond to this lead that he's still chasing down. I think I think that that weight too, and like, I don't think about it, like it's so good that he did go for that because I think Snake, if he had decided to go out there for a back air, Snake could have definitely air dodged the lead. So he's like, I'm just gonna wait because you eventually you do have to do this air dodge. And yep. I'm already in position. Good up till Dodo guy to get that stock 82% uh, here on Dark. So not a crazy amount, but maybe a crazy amount if Arsen shows up. Right. Definitely curious as to what region Dark is from, man, because doing this well against Raven King, again, a pretty solid win earlier in the bracket. That's, uh, for a player that I'm not familiar with, kind of surprising. Yeah. Raven King kind of almost in position to catch that uh, B-reverse. I think that's one of the things you definitely got to think about when uh, Snake is coming down, because those B-reverses definitely can mix you up, but at the same time, you can read it. Right, and punish him massively for it. Yeah. Basically just him committing to, like, 30 frames of doing something not that threatening. Okay, what's the tech chase? I love that, but not fast enough on the down tilt. Maybe just second guessing his own read. Oh, oh. wow, he's from Maryland. Okay, yo, MDBA, they've had some up and comers. See, the solo back here is enough to take you off. Okay, it's gotta feel good for him right there. I, 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 it must have been like stale too, I, if that's what happened then, because I mean, solo back here, hold up. Getting the stomps in. It's gonna be a big comeback if he can make this happen. Raven King never goes for the re-grab re, uh, re -grab here. He's always just getting the, the guaranteed damage. Yeah, okay. maybe just not sure of his execution quite yet. You know, this is still, even though it's been a while, a bit of a recent pickup for him. And yeah. being simple in tournament really does work. That's fair. I mean, this is a good character too. So, I mean, you don't, right. have, you don't have to always go for the, the, the cool stuff. You can just do the effective stuff and kind of like whittle your way back into this game. 114, Arson's about to be, uh, Arson is back. Oh, oh, oh I, that anti-air action or option though. No. Are you oh, dead? No way. Oh, no way. What? Man, seven after the hit from the platform. Wow. I was gonna say this character is built for comeback, so not the end of the world for Raven King by any means. But I certainly wasn't expecting it to go down like that. Okay, down throw, waits on the platform, up throw. Wow, 74% he grabbed him at. An up throw, up air, a combo, and a kill. Raven King with some incredible knowledge for, with his new character. Ike not getting it done, at least not to the degree that he wanted to. So you switch on over to someone in the top tier. Cannot blame you. I love seeing that. Like when a low tier hero is like, you know what, man? I'm tired of this. Yeah, yeah. I'm just going straight to the top. Uh, often they will get great results. So I've been thinking about that so long for like.